I have always been a very angry person. I have been, uh, um, you know, going out of my way to uh, tell people the truth. And I've always often ended up with uh, fights. So if you ask me whether I am a very ahimsatmak person, I was not. And even now, I don't claim to be very, very ahimsatmak uh, in a sense. Uh, it's really the village that actually uh, made me settle down, calm down slow down a bit but slowly i realized that you can't fight with somebody who you have to meet the next day in a village there's no such thing as uh, a bombay life in bombay you fight with somebody you don't have to see that person's face the next day or any day mm -hmm. but in a village you have to live with people you have to negotiate with people and this thing of trying to negotiate with people it came to me, it dawned on me slowly and that's when I decided to use uh, Ahimsatmak method uh, in order to build Charkha, this women's cooperative that uh, you know, I started in uh, Ego. So initially it was just a um, strategy. Mm. But then that strategy actually helped me realize what it is and maybe I'm slightly better off now than I was before. Mm. These days I've started smiling with people. These days I've even started giving a little time to the other person to speak out. Now I have started listening to people. So you could say that my, my um, attempt at understanding the other trying to negotiate with the other is the essential ahimsatma quality for me. When you are relaxed and when you have a vision, actually things start happening. Yeah. The old people, the traditional people would call it uh, providence. Bhagwan ke ichha se tumhe acha ho raha hai, etc. Maybe that's also true, but it's also that when you slow down and when you're relaxed, actually, you are able to respond to whoever comes to you and transmit those uh, ideas, the dreams or whatever of you, and things happen. Every saint, you know, especially the Shudra saints, you see, they had to be non-violent because they had to work and worship. You see, they were not fighters. They were not soldiers. Kabir had to weave, meaning had to weave the fabric and also weave the truth. So for him, weaving was a double activity. And the moment you break this uh, amazing uh, tanabana of uh, weaving and weaving truth, he felt or he, he said it that the whole thing breaks. And that's the end of the world. Today, what we are seeing is that complete break between truth saying and working.